One, two, one, two. Okay, Danny, it's good to be back. How are you? Um, I am here. <laughs> it's literally been like it's been like it wasn't it wasn't it our a year since our first. It's been too long. <laughs> it's been, well, no, hasn't it been like a year since? Because it was in Facebook memories, because you shared it on Facebook spontaneously. So I figured. Oh, jeez, yeah. Saying no, that, it, it took us about to a me. month. It took us about a month <laughs> to record that, didn't it? You know that it did. our four-hour magnum opus. Oh yeah, it was. It was a big long one. <laughs> but um, that was a lot of fun. That. But anyway, yeah. So the first one we did. Now, I, now, luckily, it was because it's been so long and because you know it, it, i can't remember any of the ones we did before i could have easily looked them up by going literally to my channel but i decided instead just to get these a load of the ones that were shorter and uh, a lot of them are base you know and for some reason most of the shorter um, manuals that i find on scribed i say manuals um e-manuals fucking you know most of the um most of the manuals I find on Scribed uh, that, that, that are shortest all seem to be based around the idea of um, administering the um, oral sex upon a lady. Um, okay. And I think that says a lot about the people who are writing these. That these are very yeah. con very concise. Yeah. I was going to say you really you it, really don't have a lot of info on there. I think it yeah. <laughs> no. I think what it tells you is these geezers, uh, you know, they've got their shit together. They know what they're doing. It's just bang bang bang. <laughs> Whereas women are writing 400,000 word tomes on how to stroke someone's balls. And so, yeah, <laughs> but I thought I'd start with, I'd, I thought I'd start with this one because I got, a th I've only read the first paragraph as a, you know, as is usually the way before I sort of went, right, that's all I need to know. But first of all, for, first of all, the title is great for this one because this one is called How to Eat Pussy and Have Fun. <laughs> as opposed to the, the the i don't know if it means eat pussy and have oh, fun man. alongside eating pussy or have fun whilst eating pussy yeah, as if there's I some mean, geezers out there for I whom this is a I real mean, fucking they're trying drag. to convince themselves that yeah. they're as if that. there's some guy they're going she's going you're gonna give you're gonna eat my pussy and he's gonna go oh for god no oh i can't be bothered <laughs> like it's like some she's like, like what if we make it into a game we could yeah. we could play like if you're not having fun, whilst, I mean, if you're doing this and you're not having fun, fair play to him, I say. You know, why do you need to have fun? Yeah. Why can't More you make for a me, bit? dude. Like, leave, yeah. leave it to the experts. You know, do you, do you know, I mean, any any man who makes any fucking... I remember you know, some of the things... Remember, was it, what's that geezer's name? He's, he's, uh, he's one of the cool people around. DJ Khalid, whatever his name is. The geezer who just shouts his name at the start of every song and that's his entire... DJ Khaled. Khaled, yeah, didn't he say something about he doesn't like, he doesn't give women? Yeah, he doesn't eat his wife's pussy. Mm. Like, and I what? remember it was. It what was, are you doing? And I, well, I remember <laughs> it was beautiful because someone said something about someone in a different conversation said something about oh shit, so, something's going down, and he said, well, it's not DJ Khaled on his wife, and that was Dwayne Johnson who said that. <laughs> Because you know, Dwayne yes, it's like a combination like him and Ben Shapiro with mm. like the poor wives. Oh, can you imagine DJ Khaled teaming up with Ben Shapiro to they could make a really, really yeah. fast, annoying rap? Mm. What's the opposite of, of wet ass pussy? I mean, um, the, the, the... <laughs> Ben Shapiro's wife. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I mean that was a. But you know <laughs> what? You know what? She, she. To be fair, is like, he's got no excuse because he's at the right height. He's been at that. He's been, he's at the the height of the average woman's vagina. You know, like most of the time when he stands up. So he's got, you know, so, so he's got no excuse for being terrible at it. He's been, you know, I think that's why he mm -hmm. resents it. He doesn't like. You know, he just, he, he's scared of them because they've been they've been towering over him most of the time. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He's it's so sad. Like as a person who's five foot tall, like just embrace being short. Like is it, it's just important yeah. that you're ashamed of it. Like yeah. That. Just be well, like, I mean, lots yeah, of short men. Lots cool. of short men have been very you know short very big sex symbols. Prince. 
was Prince used to buy his clothes from like a, you know the kids department oh, in Prince like, is amazing yeah oh, of course he's amazing well, yeah of course I he's amazing he's... I'm not saying Ben Shapiro's gonna get to Prince level but what I'm saying is maybe like, if he put some purple on yeah exactly but yeah. what Prince but Prince was like small in a way that you could like he was like a little a human vibrator you could put him <laughs> in your handbag you know you can like you know you could do you could yeah, take he, him in the he car he rocks some platform shoes and exactly yeah. Ben Shapiro is like the sort of like he's like some he's like the sort of he's like a sort of tra- a, a, an enema you have to take on a plane or something. Mm. You know, he's like he's like the opposite of fun. Um, he'll like, be the grifter formerly known as Ben Shapiro. Yeah, bless him. You know, he's still he's, mm. he's still saying that it's like it's hard to keep up now. They're all sort of like going. He's he's still one of the ones who's like knows when to ironically to pull back. Like in terms of like his, like, like in terms of po- in terms of like when he's going too far with his politics, he's one of the smarter ones. Like he'll say, yeah. he'll wait until it's. He like, uses nice words to describe really. He does use ideas. well. He doesn't use nice words. He just uses he he talks like that and he says very very really, really quickly. I'm he's like he's work. like imagine if Alex Jones was like shrunk down and got a very bad sinus <laughs> problem, and he was a wasp. Right, and he's he, he, like that, you know. He's one, of, you know he's, he's one of those geezers. We got one of these these adenoids, these fuckers you get in like these geezers who like you know work on cut, you know, get broken cars and then spend their life fixing them. Going, oh yes, hello, you know, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what. Or geezers who know all these, you know, they just like they go train spotting, but in a not in a not in a fun way, but you know, like, oh, that's right. you know, in a fun way. The, the, the geezer, Never heard that phrase before. There used to be a cat. There was a comedy there's a guy called harry enfield over here who used to do comedy sketches and one of his characters was a guy his characters were all named after the catchphrase and it was the guy called now i do not believe you wanted to do that did you a a a and that's just ben shapiro he's like a sort of mm. he's just, anyway and we've gone from anyway talk but ben shapiro is definitely the opposite of ha- eating pussy and having fun those are two things oh yeah that ben they, shapiro just like the the it's two circles if you make a Venn diagram but, they're not even touching yeah not even they they are it's literally the opposing sides of the universe but th- this thing but this thing it, 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 it I get the impression from the first paragraph I'm pretty sure that this claims to be written the person writing this claims to be a woman or at least they give you enough reason to believe that they sort of but it's I will bet my fucking I will bet both of my testicles and the low the bottom eighty percent of my of my of my penis and <laughs> both of my buttocks and anything else you want i'll be you know oh no i'll do i'll bet I'll, i will bet anything on earth right i will literally i will you know i will you know wear you know wear a just tuxedo made out of smeg and toe jam and and my own excrement for it for a 10 for 10 years if this was not ri- if, the, if this was written by a woman and because yeah because there's no way, and you can right from the get go. First of all, just to get clear, it's two pages long. Um, now I don't know anything that's fun that is two pages, and it's not even two pages. It's one and a bit, one and a half pages, right? It doesn't have it, a real, it, it, a real good try. Now at least I will, I will say for this, it's laid out pretty well. The spellings, you know, okay. He hasn't used a million and one different fonts. There aren't random pictures of shit. It's it doesn't look like it's been thrown together by some fucking by a one-eyed, colour-blind gay man <laughs> with no sense of perspective. Right? Um, but basically, so how how to eat pussy and have fun doesn't not written by anyone. Now this is how it starts. Now imagine you're writing an instructional instruction manual or an advice column, whatever, and this is how you start it. Hey. But that's it. <laughs> hey, comma. Who says hey? As if hey. I, I'm already. Hey is what you say what when you're. Re- well, that's when you're when you're trying to get someone's attention. You go hey, like you know. Like, Hello. He's like going, he's going, going, <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey now, you're an all star. No, he doesn't say that. Um, hey, <laughs> hey. It says hey. I have a lot of respect for all you guys who like to eat pussy because there are too few of you out there. Now, it, now, if so you're one of those the guys, the author is not including themselves in that group. I mean, I'm, but I'm going to guess those guys are not going to be reading this because why would they pick up, you know, a manual? Yeah. You know, why would it, they it pick this up? To some. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it might be sat. It might just be like next to the toilet, written on the toilet wall that they happen to be sat on, on the to, you know, <laughs> at the time, or 
scribbled in the fucking notebooks at the insane asylum. He then starts the next sentence with the word and, capital letter, which is it's already fucking up there. And I'm not the only woman who says this. So it's uh, I'm not the only what woman. The so it's, fuck? I'm not the only woman who says this. Right? Apparently, because apparently, there's men out there going, in, really? Yes. I thought we were fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> It reminds me of that tweet that that uh, I think it was like a, a white Republican guy. He was like, as a gay black man yeah. or something like that. And it was that. the wrong it was the wrong account. Fair <laughs> play. Joe, you know fair play to him, mate. You know, I mean, I mean, like, you know, because like, cause you know that they're doing it. You can tell, you know, you know, I had someone <laughs> I had one guy once um, like come. I, I, I was doing a video about the. Um, English Defence League, and this this guy came on and it said, "Look, I'm a Muslim and and a Pakistani, and I say Paki all the time. I don't think it's offensive." Went to his channel, all his videos there, white bloke, like literally, yeah. and his channel was called something like Aryan Nationalist Forty Four or something, and it's like right. it's like, dude, could you please? I'm not even offended. I'm just it's the fact just that you it's the, it's the insult of my intelligence, right? You couldn't. <laughs> You thought that I would just, you couldn't even be asked to just switch accounts to your, you know, <laughs> to your, like, you know, English nationalist pack one channel and go over there and, um, anyway, so furthermore, furthermore, some of you guys who are giving it the old college try, now is that an American phrase, the old college try, I've never heard that. <laughs> some of you who are giving it the old college try are not doing too well, well, you know, Cheers, mate. You know, you sit there and tell us you respect us, and now it's like, but by the way, you're crap. Yeah. If you're if you're the guys out you there, you tried, but you know, you just kind of suck. I, I'm glad that you. Some of you guys out there, you are eating that pussy like your mama made it. But quite frankly, you you suck. Right? No, not in the good way. Not in the way you're supposed to. Anyway. Um, yeah. Some of you are not doing so well, so maybe this little lesson will help you out. Well, if it doesn't, this says all about, says a lot about yeah. you, didn't it, love? When a woman, when a woman finds a man who gives good head, she's found a treasure she's not going to let go of too quickly. Now, are women that shallow? I mean, is that enough, really? I mean, I don't think, it, you know, I don't think the, you know, the cunt, your cunnilingus skills aside are going to be enough, you know, if, if she finds out there's dead kids in the freezer or whatever. You know, I mean... You tell me. I don't know. I mean, I'm not, you know. I uh, <laughs> can't relate. You can't relate. Jake, to Jake, that's on you, man. Anyway. Um, <laughs> no, no, Jake's he's an, great. He's, he's great in every way, the, but uh, quite uh, frankly, <laughs> he's great in every way, but down there, God almighty, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> it's like my it's like they're my just, va it's like my vagina so is a bus window and he's the kid at the back anyway um <laughs> this is, she's found a treasure she's not going to let go of too quickly this is one rare customer and she knows it she won't even <laughs> tell customer. her this is a bit i why i don't believe this is a this is a woman she won't even tell her girlfriends about him or that guy will become the most popular man in town i'm like i'm sorry so weird. no like this is like there's no no <laughs> you can like, there is no man who can just coast there is no woman who's gonna keep her up locked up in the cellar like elizabeth <laughs> fritzel style because he's because his box tonguing skills are just far yeah, too God, I, hope so. I can't let anyone find him if we do it like you know Women will be coming round here, and have it, you know, we'll be ch You've got like a chest. <laughs> yeah, they'll be queuing up. On. Yeah, exactly. You know, and he won't be able to say no because obviously he's a man. So remember, most guys can fuck. <laughs> See, that's why I know this is not what? a woman. This is most guys can fuck. I think, yeah, yeah. Just, um, but and I mean, those and those who can, can. And, and those who can usually do it satisfactorily, right? There's no woman who says that. Like no woman says. No, most, dude. Because that's not good enough, is it? Satisfactorily. Um, oh, my God. But the guy who gives good head, he's got it made. Mm. <laughs> Paragraph two. Most women are shy about their bodies. Even if you've got the world's most gorgeous woman in bed with you, and I do, um, <laughs> 
she's going to she's going to worry about how you like her body about whether you like your body not how you like her body you know it's like i i, I don't know whether she, i don't know how you can like it in the wrong way you know? <laughs> tell her it's beautiful tell her which parts you like best tell her anything I don't know what anything. Oh God, love your Tell her anything. your bo your body odor just reminds me of steak and kidney pudding, my favourite meal. And like, <laughs> uh, but Hello. but my get, favourite colour is blue. But tell her anything. I love it. <laughs> See, that's again how I know this is not a woman. Say, tell her anything. Just say, just say whatever, <laughs> the fu- whatever the fuck she needs to hear. Just fucking say it and like get it. You know, just fr- pelt that shit her. But get her to trust you. Get her to trust you enough to let you down between her legs. I mean, that's not a trust issue, is it? I mean, I mean, what's 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 down there? What, what I feel can, like what, it would be better if it was like be trustworthy, yeah. not make someone trust. Presumably, you. he's already you know he's already had various other appendages down there just to sort of like. <laughs> So, you know, just so he knows, okay. as a feel, just make sure that it's okay. Because if you can get, like, you know, we all know the base, you know, the bases. The um, it's the only time baseball is applied to anything in English culture is uh, is uh, right. <laughs> trying to get a woman's knickers off. Um, but now, what a weird but, analogy to use. But this is where it gets really weird. Now you get her to trust you to let you down between her legs. So there you go. So you're down between her legs, right? So visualize that. Now, now, and this is where, this is where it goes. Now, now stop and look at what you see. What? <laughs> um, <laughs> now stop. Presume, holy shit! She's got a tattoo of John Goodman on her vagina. That was not. I was <laughs> not expecting that. Um, I mean, She's, it is nice to get a nice view. Yeah, but presumably it would be quite dark under any circumstances down there. You know, it, it could be in the... Because if she's shy about her body, she's going to want the lights off. She's going to want you to... Right, if you she's know, shy. Yeah. You know, <laughs> she's going to want you to keep at least just one eye part, most of your eyes closed. You know, she's going <laughs> to... Anyway, so now stop and look at what you see. Beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> and, and what if it isn't, though? Because okay. they, 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 ain't all, they ain't all beautiful, you know? Some of them look like ripped out fireplaces without wanting to put too fine a oh, point. Jesus Christ. No, you've ever been in a house where it's been renovated and that's just the way of anyway. Um yes. there is you know you know when you get that you know you go to a kid's party and those balloons up in the corner and at the end of the night there's those oh. long there's those long ones that are like that are deflated oh, and dangling in the corner. Right. That's um you know, sometimes, you know. That's okay. They're still nice. You ever get a panini or panini sandwich with too much meat in it, and it's it's that in you know. I'm not saying these are bad. I'm just saying they're not beautiful though, you know. But uh, there is nothing. I still think they're prettier than a penis. Yeah, oh, of course but not. That, yeah, but yeah, I mean, come on, that's not penises different. Penises are very pretty. Penises, penises are ridiculous looking fucking things. They're functional. <laughs> they're, I mean, they're, they're very much like men. They are functional and nothing else. I they, just think they're neat. They're neat, yes, but that's because yeah, but that's the thing is you have to evolutionarily, <coughs> you have to like the reason we find each other attractive is because like, not me and you, just you know men and women in general. You know. <laughs> the, obviously, the me and you is taken as red. The tension, you know, everyone talks the about the communist it. we. Yeah, the the the, <laughs> the tension between us is palpable. Everyone says so. Um, and, uh, but um, <laughs> anyway, where were if we? If we ever meet. <laughs> yes. If we ever meet, oh no, we can't. It would just be. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, um, anyway, now so so you're down there looking at the vagina, thinking, "Court, check this one out, bloody hell, get a load of this." It's like a Turner seascape. Anyway, there is nothing that there is nothing that makes. Listen to this statement. Tell me, a woman would actually say this? There is nothing that makes a woman more unique than her pussy. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing. lots of things there about is, the human body that are. There I is guess, nothing. You know, there is different. nothing. Nothing that makes a woman more unique. There are fingerprints. Um, if it wasn't for, if you didn't have reliable. vaginas, we wouldn't be able to tell you apart. Basically, is what you say there, because you know. I'm really glad that they don't do like genital stamps as the uh, the fingerprint. They mm. figured out a better. Well, I'm kind of disappointed they don't, because I'd have a bloody <laughs> big one. <laughs> Just carry it around like. Mm. I need a golf bag. To fucking get right, rid of. Yeah, I would, oh, God, what a terrible world. I need, I need, I need, a, I need like a, a sheepskin hammock. <laughs> that might Everybody's got different sized like yeah. passports. But you, yeah, but we would. Yeah, but you know what blokes are like? They would just have like they'd have to have the stupidest 
biggest ridiculous one. They'd have they to just like, keep it in they, a trap or yeah, keeper. they would be like, oh look, you know, they'd have to like, you know, this is like if tampons, if men needed tampons, we would, they wouldn't be discreet or subtle. They'd be fucking massive, right? We'd have them, we'd, <laughs> we'd carry them around in fucking like bazooka holders, and we'd be like, you know, right. and and it'd be in big neon letters saying my fucking tampons, right? And that's what we. <laughs> If they were more market, I mean, ever, yeah. And we would fight with them, and we would stand in the gents slinging them at each other, right? And uh, like, (laughs) and if we ran out, if we ran out, we would use this. If we ran out, we would use like one of those giant fucking bath loofers or whatever, you know, or or sheepskin (laughs) jacket rolled up around a baseball bat or something. Anyway. um, Oh my god! I heard somebody say that they thought that the tampon size was. uh, what size pussy you have? <laughs> like, I think that I no. think those motherfuckers, <laughs> those motherfuckers should see how big those things get when you're fucking after you've stuck them inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they swell up. That's the whole. I, 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 the I, whole I legit. Fuck, I, I, yeah, they, I, I legit used to like I uh, whenever I was um, I, I, um, I used to have this like old gas hob oven and I used to spill stuff down and tampons are great for cleaning them. Because they get oh like, yeah, right super in. absorb it. Yeah, I did accidentally. I had to use them for nosebleeds. Uh, yeah. I accidentally lit one once. Tissues available. I accidentally mistook one for a cigarette whilst drunk off my tits oh, when shit. I was young, and for, yeah, that was a that was quite an adventure. I yeah. carried on, you know, um, because <laughs> for you know, if you get your high, then you know, you know, you know what it's oh, like. When, you know what it's like when you're Never nineteen. Well, it's like when you're 19 and you feel like you hear that. But one of your mates says, "I tell you what, if you get banana skins, dry them out, microwave them, right? Uh, uh, cover them in paprika, smoke that, get stoned off. Like, it's just this bullshit that fucking people. What? You know. Oh God. Yeah. You know, that sounds so painful. But that's what you know. But that's why we end up doing like we run out of drugs. We will just go. I wonder what my what what my shag just, pile just carpet would. Just make some shit up. I wonder what my sleeves on my shirt would to be like if I smoked <laughs> them. You know. Anyway. Uh, so women are there is nothing that makes a woman more unique than her pussy nothing right not her not not her personality her attitude what about her voice face? No, nothing yeah not her face no no nothing you like... all like, you all <laughs> like, you all look the fucking same right it's ridiculous you have no idea right oh. and anyway so like what if she doesn't even have a pussy what if right? she doesn't have a face yes exactly what if she doesn't have a face you know, what, what if she doesn't even have a face? What if like, she's what? just what if she's just a vagina floating in the air? <laughs> that, that's, that's oh man, that would be so hard to get anything yeah. done. <laughs> so does this geezer like would, would does he need to see it like to make sure like because it could be anyone there, it could be his mum for all he knows. You know, it could could be you know I don't know. Uh, you know, is he have like a sort of photo fit picture of different vaginas? I don't I, you know, I don't think, I don't he think this, down, to be like honest, I don't think this geezer thought this through, this sentence, you know, sorry, this woman, yeah, um, uh, there is nothing that makes a woman more unique than her pussy, I know, I've seen plenty of them, mm-hmm, <laughs> Have you now? Gave the game away sure. there. Yeah, sure I've seen can. I've seen all of the wonders of the world on the internet too. You know, like you know, it's yeah. Amazing. I mean, we all have Google, dude. It's yes. fine. Uh, you know, I've seen I've seen uh, Kim Kardashian stark bollock naked taking a g- good <laughs> portion of Kanye right up her ass. I fucking wasn't there though. <laughs> like, you know. Anyway, they they come in all different sizes, colors and shapes. What the fuck are they doing? What is this person telling it? I know that, thank you know, thank God they do because <laughs> women apparently don't. They're just fucking, you know, they're, they're just yeah. They're just, just in case cyborgs. the readers aren't aware, they yeah. all look different. And women, by that, women, I mean women different are just in basically look like cyborgs, like with you're just shop mannequins. You like fucking <laughs> you you like those vinyl pop dolls just with vagi- different oh, vaginas, yeah. yeah. It's like it's like the rings on a tree. You count them to see how old. And like that's you know you need to see. Oh, gross. <laughs> Some are tucked inside. This is a creepy sentence. Some are tucked inside what? like a little girl's cunny. What? Mm. Why? I think I don't think it's like I think anything you say. Anytime you're talking this, you say like a little girl. So I'm like no, it's just it's just it's no, still intact. It's like a what? <laughs> yeah. 
some there's some men whose yeah. whose genitalia has not changed since they were five either. Um, yeah, and, everybody's got different ones, all and, different and shapes. And some oh, have <laughs> some have thick, luscious lips that come out to greet come out to greet you like fucking. Like, like, they're like, like some have little some little have little. nuke some have steroidal overgrown clitorises that jut out like a clam neck and sit there and. <laughs> Some women have actually um, made some of it, it's like Mick Jagger coming to fucking give you a big kiss. <laughs> I've got a puss like Jagger. Yes, yes, don't, 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 don't say, do that. No, I will you. now. It's already gone in my head. I'm go, I'll be writing that later um, for six Ooh. hours. I'll be writing the lyrics to I've got a minge like Jagger and, and yeah. watch out. <laughs> <laughs> big big rubbery lips even even oh, no. anyway so so luscious lips that come out to greet you right that would scare the living oh, if women could learn how to do that that would be the biggest that would be the funniest fucking thing if you could like flex on you know if you could like get it to talk anyway some are nested what, make it tough? <laughs> yeah some are nested in brushes and of fur. It's called pubic hair, my friend. It's not. It's not nest. Uh, it's not nesting in. It's not like a fucking sparrow or a hedgehog. It's not there. It's not no, hiding shit, away. A it's, rabbit. But it's not. It's not there for like for the sheltering purposes. It's not like that's where it's natural habitat. Her. You know, if we. Fur has a meaning. If we, anytime women we wax, they, you know, women who wax their vaginas run the risk of finding their vagina under their armpit one day. You know. Um, <laughs> Oh, and, shit. and others are covered. Uh, listen, to this. others are covered with a transparent fuzz. What the fucking hell is a transparent? Transparent fuzz. fuzz. Invisible pubic hair. This is amazing thing. Like, what is uh, a transparent then, fuzz? How do you know it's there? Yes, exactly. I mean, it must be there, presumably, because he rubbed his face against it. You know, but he couldn't amazing. see anything. You know. And this this is a geezer who fucking looks closely. Apparently, he's mm -hmm. been he's been keeping detailed, you know, disturbing de levels of detailed accounts here. He's probably you know. He's staring that yeah. shit right in the face. Appreciate your woman's unique qualities and tell her what makes her special. Like blood, bloody hell, oh, love God. It's like fucking, <laughs> it looks like Miles Davis to, like playing the <laughs> trumpet down here. It's a like oh. <laughs> I feel like you don't really need to say much. It's not really. Has what anyone you're ever told for. you that your va your vaginal lips, you know, have the same density and biomass of um, <laughs> of, <laughs> of Jackie I've Mason? Told and you uh, yeah. lately, what I like about yeah. you. <laughs> You know those, you know those old geezers who do that gurning competitions. Who have no teeth and they scrunch it. You know, it looks like one of them. You know those little rubber puppet faces you get in. Like, you know, <laughs> um, appreciate your. Tell her what makes her special. Right, your her vagina and nothing else. But right? you know, think you know this. Um, women I are. I feel like if you were there to talk, you'd be up closer to her ears. Women are a good deal more verbal than men. I don't know what that means, um, especially during <laughs> lovemaking. Like. I don't know. I don't know whether that's true. Some She's women like reading the dictionary. To be honest, it, to be honest, in you know, when I was young, I had problems, you know, you know, lasting too long for a you know, for a great portion up until like my like like early thirties, and just like you know, the idea of any time women said something, it's like I don't like them talking dirty. I want them to shut the fuck up. Don't say anything. <laughs> you set this bloody thing off. You know, just you know, <laughs> just stare stoically at the ceiling. <laughs> He's the, like, She's fucking. She's just narrating the entire thing yeah. to you. Yeah, I just that's what I want. You know, I want it to be like a sort of like one of those like Russian, you know, art films that's nine hours <laughs> long and nothing happens. Yeah. Um, <laughs> especially during lovemaking, they also respond more to verbal love. Verbal love. Verbal love. But if you're looking for verbal love, uh, which means that which means verbal love, which means oh, okay. that the more you talk to her, the easier it will be to get her off. Well, if that was true, my friend, I women would be orgasming round me constantly because I never shut the fuck up. <laughs> and trust me, true. You, you know, it is true. It is true that you can, you know, the, the, the sense of humour can somehow trick a woman into getting her into bed. But once you're in there, no amount of jokes. You've got there's no material. Did Ben Shapiro write this? Does he think he can just argue with I it until it's like? I I don't think I think Ben Shapiro's child wrote this. Um, 
which is you know sad, for, in order Terrible to give for him for him for him probably she probably like is his like three year old and her re- mom's a doctor yeah his three year old yeah but she's a doctor but she's I mean look she's Ben Carson's a doctor you know Joseph <laughs> Mengler was a doctor you know the fucking these yeah. people you know the thing about doctors is they tend to have a field <laughs> you know there's lots of doctors out there who are also fucking ment- mentally fucking handicapped when it comes to in fact you find that people who are geniuses in one field i guarantee you are fucking bonkers mental on on another one you know look at nicole tesla yeah you can't you, know, you can't like you don't have unlimited stat points yeah. you gotta you know, have some, well, some geezer, one of the geezers who went one of the geezers who went to the fucking who went to the moon he fucking like he went mental and thought fucking aliens were talking to him or some shit he went like you know the um uh, Stephen Hawkins believed that there, you know, that, that, that there were UFOs flying around. I'm like Stephen, they're not, you know, they're not going to fix you. I, I mean, know. didn't the didn't the military and the Pentagon just release weird? Yes, uh, but you know what? Don't you think it's a bit? Conv- it is the thing. Like whenever there's a, a conspiracy like UFOs and the government doesn't come out and say anything, to me it's them saying, mm-hmm. "I'm, we want you to think, keep thinking this because." We don't want you to know about the fucking highly advanced military equipment yeah. we've been building, which is what. Like, it... look at all this so that you don't pay yeah. attention to the stuff. And why do these you. aliens always end up in fucking frog balls, Louisiana, or fucking bumfuck <laughs> Arkansas, or some fucking place? You know, you know, it's just you know the the problem is that American men are just not prepared to admit when they're drunk. You know, and so that's what so that's what alien. So we, you can't with aliens, you know. And, it's just like different parts of the military yeah, hiding yeah. their own like well, weaponry and from also, one another. And also, is a is a statistic that's very relevant to UFOs. The one group, the one group in society who have virtually no, you know, uh, who who have the least amount of of, of um, accounts of reporting or seeing UFOs, astronomers. Do you know why? Because they Where? know what they're looking at when they look up at the sky. Like, like, like who? Astronomers. Oh. Like people who's like people. Yeah, because they can identify the flying objects. <laughs> yes, because they know what the fuck. They see something and go, "Oh look, it's a fucking, it's one, yeah, it's one of those." That's things. what that is. Oh look, there's a, there's a fucking flying rock that's very that's on fire. You know? <laughs> like like because that's all the fucking universe is. It's just us and a load <laughs> of du- giant floating smegging rocks that are on fire or. You know, the less you know about flying objects, the, the less we knew about when we knew fire. nothing about space. Space was interesting. There was green Martian men and women with 17 tits and there was fucking speed, <laughs> all this shit, Star Trek and Star Wars and all this other fucking crap going on. And what have we discovered that we we went to the moon once? I mean, do you know how fucking boring you know, it, like fucking that planet is? That's why we've, we've never gone back. Why? Because there's fuck all there. There's dust, no oxygen. <laughs> Right, it was ice. Well, they I they mean, got excited like they when they really found ice on the moon. Sorry. I mean, the scientists cared about space. Yes, but they but didn't like, care enough to gate the government. They didn't. went. They went back there. Armstrong and Aldrin and that other poor cunt who they had to stay in the ship and uh, as it fucking went round the moon, you know, could, like right. stuck in stuck in it. And you know they didn't tell him till they got there about that. Like, <laughs> and, and he was fuming. Oh, yeah. He was Sorry, there God. fuming. Right, and they, as they're there driving <laughs> a golf buggy and dropping. You know, there's no, there is no, as Jerry Seinfeld said, there is no more male idea than going to the moon just to drive around, you know, and put a fucking flag on it. Yeah, we put a flag there. The, you know, there's fucking we, we, assholes. A, a, about 10, 20 years ago, I remember there was news you know, ice found on the moon. No, ice, ice and dust. Wow. I don't let so. I've got ice at home and I've got plenty of dust. You know, I don't need, there's fuck all else there. So we didn't bother going back right now. We've gone, you know, the, you know, we go to loads of places twice. You know, we've got, you know, there's loads of horrible shit. You know, we have, you know, people go to wish.com all the time and buy shit, even though it's mm-hmm. the 17th time. They, they go to fucking horrible play, horrible hotels, horrible restaurants. They eat food that's going to fucking give them the trots. They don't care. No, everyone in America is lactose intolerant. That's one thing the internet is talking <laughs> with. You know, and um, and we, they, but they still eat fucking cheese, and that's what this fuck. You know, where do we get well, on the space? Cheese is addictive. You can't blame us. Yeah, it is. Well, it is. Yes, but you know, do you know? It's also I learned this. American cheese, that plastic American cheese, was actually invented in Switzerland. Oh, cheese. Mm. There you go. Is it even really cheese? Well, I mean, nothing in America is anything. I mean, you know, you know, nothing, nothing you lot have is actually 
it, it, it's important. You, got, you have crabs, <laughs> you have fake fish, you have fake cheese. I mean, to be fair, vegan food is fake stuff. I mean, it's fake meat and it's fake butter it's or it's fake, you know, ev- you know, everything else. So most of the plants that we eat are genetically modified technically well, everything's genetically modified so anyone who objects to genetically modified food like okay then good for you go and eat fucking grass because that's all there is out there's nothing <laughs> like there are... everything else yeah. yeah we don't have the same yeah. broccoli didn't even used to exist yeah yeah well i mean look at bananas that was one yeah. of the things because Ray Comfort used to use that the banana is the atheist worst nightmare because it looks like it was designed to be eaten by a, you know by a human because it's got it's shaped like a <laughs> dick basically which is all the best foods are shaped like dicks you know but the um but he, like, like, yeah but like what, uh, and then people pointed animals out animals have mouths either. and then and then people pointed out to him that actually but the the way a banana looks now looks that way because we specifically genetically modified it and bred and you know. Right. You know, to, we, 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 you know, we basically did eugenics on the bananas because they were just right, exactly. They're just full of That's seeds why we and they're disgusting. Any of the fruits and vegetables we have now. Yeah, exactly. You know, most fruit will fucking, you know, is just is poisonous or kill you or give you the fucking <laughs> trots for three weeks or whatever. But um, but it's God just showing off. Look at all the colours I know. So. <laughs> Anyway, we were on this. We were talking about this. Anyway, so... Um, All right, back to pussy. Yes, back to eating pussy. So, <laughs> you respond, to, respond to verbal love. That's where we were. Getting her off. So, talk a lot. Right, get, verbal so love. So, talk a lot and she'll get off. Right. So, all the time you're petting... Stop dirty to me. All the time you... Beg your pardon. <laughs> That's no, not in. you, honey. I'm, no, it's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm clipping that. I'm clipping that audio. That's. I'm playing that back. You know, <laughs> you know... That's going to be used for motivational purposes. Anyway. It's going on the fucking soundboard. I mean, this is the problem. When you give me your, when you allow me to have audio of you talking, you know, it's, it's, it's my, it's mine then. I can do with it what I will. I will control That's your all voice. That's right. I'm a communist. I don't need to copyright that shit. Yeah, no, no. Oh, you would do though. Um, so all the, um, <laughs> so so all the time you're petting and stroking her beautiful pe- mm. petting. Who pets? Petting and stroking. Who pets it? He's tickling it behind its ears. You know, oh, he was supposed to be eating it. Yes, well, that's what I. Well, apparently he's just warming it up. This is just the. He's he, talking to it, it. You know, it's like it's like when you tenderize a steak, or you need you need. She, I guess. Talk to her about it. You know, well, darling, yeah. this is what I'm doing now. Is I am you know digitally you know mm-hmm. stimulating using the and and I'm you know <laughs> I, I watched the secret earlier he's and I've been manifesting. Fascinating is what he's doing. I've, I watched the secret earlier earlier <laughs> and all day I've been manifesting your 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 gash squirting <laughs> fucking fanny batter all over my face. So. Get, <laughs> Get ready for this, you know. Anyway, this now look at it again. Like, but did you take your eyes off it? Are you used to, did you? What else are you looking at? Like, look at, look at, look at it again. It's like, it's, it's like I'm getting. Hit, I feel like I'm being hypnotized. Your eyes and your mouth are pretty close. Now look closely. What do you? It's like that fucking old spice advert. Look again. What do you see? <laughs> hmm? look, look, look up. Look down. Gently, it's gently look pull the lips apart. Don't pull them. Oh, just. They, pull them apart. Just, you know, <laughs> just pull get, them get, apart. Get, 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 a, get a fucking car jack in there. Get one of those, like, get those fucking... You know, just fucking open them up, why? Get your bottle, get a bottle opener or some of those, like, clips you put on to, like, hold paper on the clipboard. Oh, like you, a binder clip. Yeah, yeah that'll yeah. do it. Or, that, or, just, you know, or just some Gorilla Tape, I think it will do. Um, <laughs> gently pull the lips apart and look at her inner lips. Your, oh, the inner okay. lips. That's where the true beauty lies, on the inside. Even lick them if you want to. Well, what the fucking hell else am I down here for? Am I, <laughs> I'm not here to have a Zoom call, mate. I'm fucking, I'm down here. I'm down here to Just munch fucking bob. <laughs> now spread the tops of her, the tops of her, the tops of her pussy. There's the tops, what? apparently. You've got. <laughs> How many lips does she have? Or maybe she's got to, well, there were four tops, weren't there? Maybe she's got, um, there were, <laughs> I'll be Jeez. there until you can find her clit. Fucking hell, Jesus Christ. Get your fucking, get a canary in a cage and a fucking gas mask, mate. We're going. <laughs> I'm just imagining this all going down and how fucking Going down. Uh, yeah, good pun. I've... <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I've had two double entendres and I didn't mean to. Yeah, you, 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 I'm a, du- yeah, I, you're a du- double entendre and you didn't. Know it. Um. Anyway. Um. 
Now, okay, so did, 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 now, where were we? Anyway, I've, I've complete. I think you could read this at any point you're, randomly, you're, and it would make. Spreading it, it open, as, and you're looking at it. Okay. Uh, Women have clits. <laughs> women, now, women have clits in all like different that. sizes. Size 4, 2, 6B. You know, they're like, just like you guys have different sized. It is not just like. It is a vast. There is a huge amount of difference in the, like, you know, Wait, big, sizes all men have. Like, okay. <laughs> what women have is space. Like, we like, you know, they've got the, they've got the real estate. We've got the fucking, <laughs> they've got the garage. We've got the Mack truck now, um, we, um, or in some cases, a bubble car. And um, it doesn't mean a thing as far as her capacity for orgasm, her capacity for orgasm. The, the clitoris is meaningless for her capacity. You know, it could be dangling down there like a New Orleans fucking prawn. Like, like no, nope, it's irrelevant, you know. All it means is more of her is hidden underneath her foreskin. He said foreskin. I, I'm pretty sure I've never heard that before. You, you've got foreskin. Is that what that part's called? Maybe, maybe it's not hers. Maybe this woman just had one. You know. <laughs> maybe she keeps, keeps them down. It is Ben Shapiro's wife. <laughs> oh, jeez. Whenever, whenever you touch a woman's... put, Whenever you touch... A, make sure your finger is wet. Uh, why? <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been down there at this stage? It feels like a fucking... <laughs> this, we've been talking about this. We, it's taken us 40 minutes to get this far in. Right, okay. It, t- uh, make sure... You're telling you sonnets Before you it, touch you it, make sure you... Here's an idea. Off. Don't touch it with your finger. Touch it with something that's already wet, i.e., like, you know, the fish in the, in the, the bowl. Or, you know... Or a, you know, an eel, Wet or or maybe your fucking eyeball, or oh, your yeah. face. I don't know. Just <laughs> make sure, make sure you can lick it. Or can I really? Oh, thank God for that. I was, gonna, I was worried then. Like, how on earth am I going to make my finger not dry? <laughs> or moisten it with juices from inside her. How can I touch her with my dry finger? <laughs> if without a touch you just said That's don't touch it never situation. whenever you touch a woman's pushy make sure what was the first thing we learned in the first episode <laughs> Lubri- lubricants <laughs> capital pun it's a fucking pussy paradise lubricants exclamation mark right this <laughs> testicles before anything and <laughs> Be sure, by all means... Stimulate your prostate. This is what I... I love little phrases like this they put in to pad it out. Be sure, by all means... What do you mean, all means? By all means? No, not all means. I'm very limited. By in, all means. I'm, 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 wet. I'm down between a woman's legs, you know, and she's expecting some, you know, greasy ramrod actions here, and I've got to, like, you know, get the band tuned up. Be sure, by all means... What means did you bring? Exactly, you know... But fucking this geezer's got a fucking proton pack. He's got a fucking... He's the kind of cunt who carries a fanny pack round with one of those, those like, fucking th- <laughs> things geezers go camping with, or the scouts. They've got those little boxes. It's of, where he keeps his means. It's like my first explorer fucking, you know, kit, you know. Um, <laughs> be sure, by all means, to wet it before you touch her clit, clit, because it doesn't have any juices of its own. All right, so I've got to test her fanny for juices, right, first, first of all. Then... <laughs> If it's not, if if it's still a little bit barren down there, I've then got to go right back up, back up. Oh, my tongue's all dry. Bogies, right? Just <laughs> bogies. <laughs> I'm just hold on. My nose is dry. I'm gonna piss on my finger. One second, love. I'm t- I should have thought this through. <laughs> um, you, ha- you, your finger will stick to it if it's dry, and that stick to it. What the? No, it won't. <laughs> I have never had. <laughs> I have He's never had that problem. I, I have never got my finger stuck to or inside. It, or, won't, it won't slide. You but know, it's saying so that, I, I don't want to be with the woman whose whose vagina my finger could get stuck to or inside because <laughs> I'm like, what the fucking hell? What a, what a, when did what you a last? When did you last wash this? I knew I could smell you coming up the driveway. Right. Anyway. Oh, um, no. But you, but you don't want her. You don't want to touch her clit anyway. Oh, don't I? You have to work up to that. Ah, right. Start down. Start at the end of the hall. Right before what, she more talking to it. Before she becomes aroused, her clit is too delicate to be handled. That's bollocks. Right. That is. 
<laughs> that's like, it's too delicate. Do not touch you it under any warm circumstances. Up. What's going to happen? You don't want to overdo it. You got to well, give it a little warm up. Yeah, warm it up, but you don't have to build up. It's not like if you touch it before, it's going to go, you know, oh, and she's going to pass out or fucking like have a heart attack. Uh, it, it depends. It depends it, on who it is. It's not too delicate. It's not like she, it's not a fucking, yeah. it's not the Turing yeah, shroud. <laughs> anyway. Appro- this is the next thing. A- approach. Okay, so here we are. Ready? Approach her pussy slowly, like a like a bear from behind. <laughs> I'm just you a know, picture. Like like a like a bomb, like, like a like a bomb, or like when when you find a bag in a fucking train station, approach it slowly. Don't make any l- dun, dun, sudden dun. movements. Remember, the vagina's vision is based on movement, so be very still. <laughs> Women even it more can't so. See you if you don't look right at it. Women even more so than men love to be teased. I'll go put some toast on them. What do they love? They love to be teased. Well, <laughs> yes, all you've done. You're ugly. You haven't <laughs> been teasing her so far. This is a fucking wind up. <laughs> this isn't teasing you. You're taking a fucking piss. Quite frankly, this is like a roast, and, and not in a good way. This is like a fucking Comedy Central teased. roast. You know, you're just down there doing. Like everything yeah. wrong. It's it's com- it's like Mr. Bean gives oral sex for the first time. Um, no, the, it, your pussy is so beautiful. Yeah, I my love fing- how it's but, got you know, lips love, on it. Have you got the? You're di- stupid. I've got my <laughs> finger. It's like a it's like a Chinese finger trap. I can't seem to get me fucking. You know. Anyway, have you got any? <laughs> well, if it's dry. Yeah. <laughs> have you got any cooking oil or maybe some like petroleum jelly? Like, you know, or oh. or could you just could you just like unclench? I don't know. You know. Uh, the inner part of her thigh, <laughs> also known, steel. the inner part of her thigh, or the inner thigh, as it's known, is her most tender spot. No, it isn't. Like you've just it's said, you have literally <laughs> said that if we so much as look at the clitoris, right, it will fucking, you know, we'll turn to stone. It's like those fucking statues in Doctor Who. Like we'll... Right. <laughs> Lick it, kiss it, make design. Well, I mean, then you definitely have to look at it, because yeah. otherwise you're fucked. Yeah, but this is it. Lick it, kiss it, make designs on it with the tip of your... You make designs. <laughs> so, you know, fucking... Designs. You know, what, what do you... Do you know, that's what That's what the print... You know, Prince, again, back to Prince, right? He wrote the song that gave us all the instruction. I'm going down to Alphabet Street. That's what that song <laughs> is about. And like, yeah, do the, we, alphabet. do the alphabet with your tongue, the Chinese one, if you're Prince, right? Obviously, um, oh, come, come danger, dangerously close to, come dangerously close to her <laughs> pussy, but dangerously close, not just come, come dangerous, just not just close, just dangerously close, like so she's. Sk- <laughs> Why is she scared? Why is it? Why are you a danger to this woman's? Come dangerously. Danger? This is hold on the full sentence. Come dangerously close to her pussy, then float away. Like just <laughs> like <laughs> like in The Exorcist, just <laughs> this is the most awkward cunnilingus. This is the I've weirdest fucking. This is what happens when magicians have sex. Uh, make her make her anticipate. I'm pretty sure she's anticipating this. You, she has given she's you. She's been waiting. She's a been long there. Time she's been there been. since fucking last November, waiting for this to <laughs> kick off. Right? Now lick the crease where her leg joins her. The leg joins her pussy. Her leg bones connected to the pussy bone. <laughs> the <laughs> her leg crease. joins. That's where the leg joins the pussy. Ah, the crease in the valley of. <laughs> <laughs> The yeah, crease. Just lick your creases. That, I bet that makes this. That makes that woman. I'm just gonna get. I'm just on my way to the crease, darling. Deep in the crevasse, to, <laughs> and I'm just got to lift up the massive folds of fat that you've accumulated down here, not to make you feel self-conscious or anything. Um, after you've done <laughs> this just, to the point, maybe that is all right. It's, uh... Well, maybe, I don't even know what to say. Maybe after you've done, it's okay. Neither did this fucker. After you've done this to <laughs> the point where your lady is bucking up from her seat, where she's trying to fucking <laughs> twat you around the head with a fucking lampshade or something. She's she's, she's, she's like it's right she, here. She, she's bucking up, sitting up, going, "What the fucking hell are you doing down there?" Like. <laughs> <laughs> It's you know it's like uh, bucking up from her seat and she's straining to get more of you closer to her. For fuck's sake, dude! Like get this fucking over and done. Stop padding this out, right? Just because you, <laughs> just because you. This is what you do when you nutted three minutes before you got you arrived back at her place and she didn't know. And like so now you've got to like draw this out. 
So you decide to go fucking, you know, 20,000 leagues under the fucking sea and venture down. I feel like he's still procrastinating at that point. Do you think? It's, he's procrastinating and it's only five paragraphs so far. <laughs> Gently pull the pussy lips away. I, I thought they were already pulled away. Away? Didn't we, didn't we fucking, didn't Just... we stitch those fuckers back? You know, back. I know he already had those. We open. already had them. We had the fucking sky hooks in those fuckers. You know, twenty minutes ago, bro. Gently pull her <laughs> pussy lips, pull away, and flick your tongue against the clit, hood covered or not. Yes, damn the hood, be damned. <laughs> <laughs> it still works. Yes. Yeah. Do this quickly. There you go. Right. This should <laughs> okay. Quickly, how? Like, you know. Do Just I need do a metronome or a fucking there. Yamaha keyboard? Do I need a fucking <laughs> app for this? Is there like... A... You should trill. You should be like... Brrr. Oh, yes. Cause, <laughs> oh, yes. Because men are fucking humming. Listen, we are not battery operated like the fucking... Those machines you keep in your fucking... See, cause women are just... Cons- <laughs> see, that, that's how consumed with penis envy women are. They have to fucking... They, they've got... They've got... A, they've got, like, 17 different types of them in their drawer that are deliberately made to fucking make us feel feel, feel insecure. Well, we're not falling for it. Right? Okay, like, yeah. okay. It's not happening. <laughs> this is what men do. <laughs> We write shit like this um, whilst pretending to be women. Right? This should cause her legs to shudder. She's probably just farted. Uh, it's probably a ripple. She... Shiver is the word they were looking for. Yeah, she's just probably just queefed in it's your face. She's just got... Her mouth might shudder. Yeah, maybe she's got cramp because she's been there for fucking long enough. She's, she's been there since last Thursday sorry. night. Yeah, she's got fucking pins and needles in her ass now at this point. Um, when you when you sense she's getting up there toward orga up towards orgasm, but f- make your lips into an O. And take the clit into your mouth. With the hood or not? Is that... Is, what's the etiquette here? Um, st- <laughs> st- start to suck it gently and watch your lady's face for her reaction. She's there with her arms folded, going... <laughs> She's, like, All right, She's there, fucking past it. <laughs> <laughs> You couldn't wake her up. She fucking she's been spark out for about like the last two hours. Don't let she hang on, hang on, already. hang on. Keep it hot in your mouth. Don't let go. You can't, Jesus Christ, they're getting well into okay. it now. That that's what she'll be saying. Oh, that's what she'll be saying to us. Don't let what don't let. Say? Hang on. Keep my keep your hot mouth on my clit. I've never had a woman say Ooh. that. I if a woman said that to me, I would get up. Get dressed and walk out in disgust. And say, <laughs> say you're officially cancelled, right? Because like, uh, t- never say. You ne- want to reword that? Yeah, never talk to me. Never say put your hot mouth on my clip because that's where it already was. You stupid tart, and that's not in the. <laughs> that is the least fucking uh, sexually arousing sentence ever. Anyway, um, that's, yeah, I hate when somebody tells me what to do when I'm already oh, doing it. P- please continue <laughs> filating my member with your. <laughs> With your, or, with your, with your, with your, with your, you know, with your, uh, you know, uh, facial orifice, one of the three that you have, the bigger of the three, the, um, <laughs> the one underneath the nostrils is what I'm talking about. At least I hope so. I don't know. It's dark in here. That's what she'll be. Don't stop. Don't ever stop. There's a reason for don't that. Ever stop. Don't ever stop. I've never heard a woman say don't ever stop, right? Because even in the throes of <laughs> forever, even in the throes of intense, passionate love making, women can be are realistic at the same time. <laughs> Most men stop too soon. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, they, yes, they do. If she's saying don't ever stop, then quite frankly, there is no amount of there is no place I could stop that would not be too soon. Really, is there? So. That is her yeah. fault. It's not me ending too quickly. It's her having unrealistic expectations. But then saying that, I did turn up with a fucking, you know, with a fully rigged fucking, like, you know, mining team to, to go just to go down and perform oral sex on her before. Like, <laughs> spelunking. Yeah, it was wasn't spelunking. It was more like a building the channel tunnel. Um, mm. Just like with sucking cock, this is something worth learning about. It's worth learning about sucking cock, is it? I don't think it is. 
I mean, yeah. Oh, this is oh, this is great. I know a man. It's me. <laughs> I know a man. I know a man who's a lousy fuck. Simply lousy, but he can eat pussy like nobody I know. Yeah, like nobody you know, because that man does not exist. Um, I I <laughs> know. Yeah, I know. And I, like nobody I know, and he never was trouble. Get, never has trouble getting a date. Listen, there are lots of men who are fucking fundamentally shite at every aspect in, be, in bed. That's a insert who, if who, I who, ever heard one. Who are still able to get a date every fuck. Maybe he gets so many dates because they dump him after the first they go. Get- yeah, no, he's got to get new dates yeah. every time. It's like it's like men who brag about. I remember these people you know, is part of these men going on about like, oh, last year I had 121 one night stands. I'm like, you're joking. Not one of them wanted to do it twice with you. Like, <laughs> that's fucking embarrassing. I would They're keep just that. Telling on themselves I'd, again. I'd keep that to myself, mate. I wouldn't fucking brag <laughs> about that, you know. You know, if you'd said you'd had sex with three women a thousand times each, that would impress me. Because that's, a, you know. There you go. That's like okay, you got some stamina happening, and she likes you apparently. So he never has trouble getting a date. Girls are falling all over him. That's because he's fucking down there. They can't fucking get. They need to get up and go to work. <laughs> they're, they're tripping but over him. <laughs> back to your pushy eating session. All right, that was uh, he just to diverged just to tell you about another man I know who's crap in bed, but can <laughs> but eat, I digress. But can eat pussy like Joey Chestnut. Right. There, there's another thing you can do to intensify your woman's pleasure. Right. Another thing. So there's two. So we're only on two so far. You can fin- okay. you can finger fuck her whilst she's enjoying your licking talents. True. <laughs> I love the fact that he thinks we haven't that hasn't occurred to us yet. Oh, yeah. I've got hands. I forgot. Thing they can but have. all of them are dry. What shall I do? <laughs> In this day and age, all that sanitizer, by the end of the day, God, it's like, you know, <laughs> it's like I've got two suede gloves on. What is a man to, hands What's a man to do? <laughs> I, I've tried. I've, I've even tried lactating on, on them. Anything is nothing. <laughs> Earwax. You know, like, you know, I think I gotta cry. I had to punch myself in the nose to give myself a nosebleed. Yeah. Just like some form of liquid. <laughs> I had to get my ass crackle sweaty. Um, oh, bef- no. Before, during, or after. Oh, apparently you can finger fuck them at any point. It's, there's no, there's no bad time. True. She'll really like it, will she? Well, I'm coming <laughs> back to you, my friend. I'm finding you. Like if this, if this, if this does not work out. In addition to the erogenous zones surrounding her clit, a woman has another extremely sensitive area at the roof of the roof of your vagina. I've never heard it called the roof the before. Roof? Yeah. Well, it's only the roof if you're laying down, in which case it wouldn't be the roof most of the time. Yeah. Roof. I don't think I've ever heard of it described as a roof. No, I've never. Well, that's like calling your like, you know, well, that's like calling the top part of your rectum the roof it's like it's not the roof is it because it's <laughs> that's like you know it's like it, it's just it depends what way you fa- it's not the roof is it it's like <laughs> it's the, the the top you've already told us about the tops the tops and the roofs like a fucking she's got a full steeple and chal and you know and fucking cathedral down there what is it what, what's going on um at the roof of her vagina this is what you rub up against when you're fucking her. My God, please do. Could you ease up on the science here? I'm not a fucking... I don't have a degree like Getting you. Real technical. Could you dumb it down a little bit? Rub up against when you're fucking her? As if these are terms. layman. Am I? Yeah, exactly. Lay, lay man. It's a laid man, yeah. Um, well, since your cock is pretty oh, far... Oh, man, that's the third double entendre that yeah. I didn't mean. Yeah. Again, see, you'd see your natural... See, Dan, it's rubbing off on it's a rubbing off on you. And there's mine. The Bang. Shirt. Boom. There you go. Oh. <laughs> well, since your cock is pretty far away from your mouth, <laughs> speak for yourself, my friend. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm, like, you know, you know, like, I, I'm getting there. I swear to Christ. And that's just one more vertebrae. <laughs> and I'm, I've made it. <laughs> I it, believe in you. Uh, yeah, well, thank you, Danny. That's all I needed. Um, it's like, it's like when the Grinch heart grows three times on Christmas. <laughs> your fingers were no, because your pe- three sizes that day. Yeah, yes, and Dick's bell end grew three sizes that day. 
Well, <laughs> since your cock is pretty far away from your mouth, your fingers will... So, what are you saying your mouth? Why not say her vagina? Because I'm doing oral sex. Like, like right. I know where my cock is. I don't need you to tell me that too. <laughs> I'm well aware. Usually they're pretty far away from each other. I've never been so sure of where it is at this moment. Take two <laughs> fingers. And, uh, yeah, one is too skinny and three is too wide. Well, it depends, really. I've got okay. I've got artistic fingers, you know, which are quite spindly. Um, but uh, you don't want those. You might get some, some one of those motherfuckers who has stumpy ones, you know, that are like. And therefore can't get Ooh. deep enough. What do you mean enough? Like you act like this is a fucking like this isn't the abyss, mother. We're not going is it for you to touch the roof. Mm -hmm. I know this isn't like you know we're we're not we're not going down in the in the dab hole in 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 Dubai. The ceiling is too high. Yeah. Slide them inside, right? As opposed to what? Taking a running jump off and <laughs> you know. Take it doing a sort of doing a sort of Popeye motion where you spin your hands around, go eh, 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 <laughs> like, you know, fire them out of a gun, like, psh, psh, like yeah, you know, finger guns, so... pump action, yeah, psh, psh, you know, yeah. go go gadget fingers, slide them inside slowly yeah. at first, then a little faster. I'm sorry, you need to get more, more specific on that. Fuck <laughs> her with them rhythmically, right? Uh, what? Cool. <laughs> Like rhythmically, like you know what, like portal or you know or um. This <laughs> is the rhythm of the night. Yeah, yeah. I don't think you know. Is is there a song? I'm trying to think of a song with rhythmically in the. There is no song I can think of with rhythmically in. Uh, no, no. Rhythmically. This, yeah, there's no song with the word rhythmically in it I can think of. Mm. Which says everything, right? Fuck her. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna fuck you <laughs> rhythmically. So what he's <laughs> suggesting here is the rhythm method, but for finger banging. The, the rhythm method, which was invented by the Catholic Church as a way of, as a form of contraception. I think you should do it irregularly. Keep her guessing. Yeah, I think you should be the more like sort of like that sort of white people jazz. Do some sort of like boom, Morse code. Boom, 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 Tell her like a secret. Yeah. It should be like, you know, it should be like that sort of, that jazz that sounds like a, a blues quartet falling down a flight of stairs. Yeah, make that. it like interpretive mm, freeform. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what you want. You know, you want this to be like, mm -hmm. you want it to be like Begotten or like, you know, Gozu or, when you know, some <laughs> some weird Asian film that makes no sense. Tiny you know? book squeak shorter. One of those art installations <laughs> that's just basically, you know, you, you sit there and go, oh, yeah, it's brilliant. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> Speed up only when she does. What do you mean when she does? What does she do? Sucking it in? At the, like, you know, like, oh. Is she going to, she got revs? She got, are there dials on her? <laughs> Listen to her breathing. When your neck, when I finger bang you, I can feel your heartbeat. I can <laughs> hear you breathing in my... Yep. <laughs> She'll let you know what to do. But I wish you'd have... Well, could, why am I reading this shit, then? Like, why am I reading this? Yeah, this could have been a one-sentence story. Yes. Ask a woman what... To, uh, just ask. What to just do. ask. Ask. You know, if you don't know, just ask. You know, I'm just bored yeah. and lonely. Right? <laughs> hey, hey, what do you like? This, oh, this was... Okay. I wrote this in the hope that it would be the seeds planted for my fucking Charles Manson... You know, supervillain story, but it just didn't happen. A woman <laughs> stays excited for a full hour after she's had an orgasm. <laughs> well, that's, I wouldn't know. What? I'd be fast to fucking kip, mate. Um, excited for excite, an hour. I don't know. Maybe just excited in general, like you know, like just like she's just, pumped. just happy about everything. Yeah, you're just, just so amped. Just pumped. amped. Yeah, you're just like he's just, like well, I gotta go fucking. You're, you're just hype. You're off. just full hype. You know, just like everything's like yeah. You know, and you. Do you realise the full... I feel like I'm like, all right, time to fucking... Hold on, can I just read this full <laughs> sentence? A woman stays excited for a full hour after she's had an orgasm, full stop. Do you realise the full impact of that information? <laughs> no, I don't. Like, actually, yeah. uh, the potential? What do you mean the potential? I've done my job. Like, uh, one woman... One woman was clocked like she's a fucking car speeding. She was clocked doing fifty-six orgasms in one. Fifty-six orgasms yeah. an hour. They like 
50 yeah but that woman clearly had something that woman must have had something wrong with her like some one of those weird yeah some people just get stuck in that one of those weird conditions where you just prepare i I knew this guy once like no matter no matter what he ate like he is like it it turned into muscle like yeah it it was a condition he Mm. had like so he always had a six pack and fucking abs and bicep you know and like no matter what you know it's it's just one of those fucking so, oh i suffer from massive cock syndrome oh, i said just dreadful <laughs> oh god <laughs> oh, oh yeah. i'm so sorry yeah it's just, it's, oh, then you get those poor buggers who suffer from fish rotting fish aroma syndrome or something like that 56 That's orgasms amazing. do you know what effect Everything you would have on like, a woman you smell like uh syrup that's a thing some people have yeah well no there is a thing called rotting fish syndrome where basically all of the smell like well yeah basically like the 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 waste products like the in your in your urine and stuff like that doesn't doesn't Mm. it it gets misdirected into like your sweat Mm. pores so you sweat and it smells like rotting fish or stale or stale piss yes stale piss so i imagine if you just smoke weed no one would notice um (laughs) <laughs> um, do you know what effect you would have on a woman you gave 56 orgasms to? I haven't given 56 orgasms to all of the women in grand total so far. So I'm, you know, <laughs> because I don't keep tally. Why would she have time for anything else? To also, do, like... who keeps tally of shit like this? What sad motherfucker is going to sit there like with a little ticker going, that's another one, that's another one. Who's doing it for sport, mm. honestly? She'd be yours as long as you wanted her. Well, well, I'm not doing 56 every time. If you expect that on a fucking nightly yeah. basis, you can fucking... That's just, and the snooker's on tonight. The last advice... The, the last bit of advice I have for you is this. After you've, <laughs> made, after you've made her come, which is obviously going to happen, um, her, made... I made her your slave by giving her the best. Made her your slave by giving her the best head she's ever had. Wait. Don't. Is that in? The, is that really in the thing? That's what it says. Made her your slave, not bitch. Not you know. What? Not you know. Not uh, you know. Not made her go. Well, I'm sticking with this one for a while. I don't care about the. Yes, I'm. You know, I'm not. Jeez. I'm not too bothered about the. You know, the Robert Mugabe's on his speed dial and he's got a. <laughs> he's he's, the, he's, the, he's in charge of several child sweatshops. No, I'm not worried well, about. Well, I'm concerned for the 56 times. And I'm not concerned about the Nambla membership card. That motherfucker can stay. You know, I'll, I'll I'll put that to one side for now. But he says that after you've made her come and made her your slave by giving her the best head she's ever had, don't leave her alone just yet. Talk to her. Okay. Stroke her body. Caress her breasts. Keep making love to her quiet, well, quietly. Like, give the woman a... She's got to fucking... She's going to be walking like Charlie Chaplin for the next week. Just give her some... <laughs> let her fucking heal up. It's going to be... You know, there's going to be chafing down there. <laughs> <laughs> God almighty, she's just going to be squelching for <laughs> every time. She's, she won't be able to run for a bus or sit down quietly for you know for, for a good long while. Uh, a man can oh. get off and go to sleep in the in the same breath. That is true, and feel no remorse. Yep, or sense of loss. Correct, but uh, okay. <laughs> the only tr- accurate sentence in the entire thing. But a woman right. by nature requires some. I'm sure. If I'm sorry, if you've had fifty six orgasms at my, at my tongue. And now you expect me to sit there and fucking stroke you and pet you like a fucking, you know, like you're some you know, litter of kittens or you're some fucking, I'm like, like you're clear packed. I'm like, fuck off. Like, have some fucking, re- be reasonable, love. Like, you know, like funny. You know, it's just like, okay. Ask if she wants to cuddle or not. I've got, I've do, got cramp. Do whatever she says. I, I've got, I haven't got, just, I haven't just got locked jaw and cramp in my tongue. I could take, you know, I was in. Do you realize how deep my tongue was? I could taste the mattress through you. That's how. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but it's what you make of it. Take your time. Practiced often. When they say this, practice on who, with what, practice. how, like, <laughs> like, and to what end? Like, pay attention to your lover's signals, and most of all. Enjoy yourself. See, the that's end. the only part about the entire thing that was about yeah. enjoying it. It should have just said, a man can get off, go to sleep in the same breath and feel no remorse or sense of loss. Take your time, practice often, <laughs> pay attention <laughs> and enjoy yourself. You know? 
Yeah. How to. Ask her how to and then do that. <laughs> yes, just say, look, love, I don't know. I, I've already, my, exp <laughs> my only experience with this sort of thing is, you know, stamps and in his imagination yeah, the, big envelopes at christmas you know um <laughs> other than that hold on i'm just gonna stop i'm gonna stop the recording now but that ladies and gentlemen was how to eat pussy <laughs> and have fun by some by some cunt um <laughs>